today is a super special episode because we have the Wombats with us. Uh, they're oh, nice. finishing up their tour right now and uh, we are honored that they decided to stop by the Pop Dust headquarters. You guys make a good amount of noise for a three-piece band. Yeah, kind of the polish we have. Yeah, no, which I think is like, that's like my favorite thing, you know what I mean? Like, as far as bands go, I've always wanted to be like in the three-piece band, and you guys have such like a diverse range of sounds over your discography. And the latest single to come out, I believe, was Bee Sting. And that's part of uh, Beautiful People Will Ruin, Ruin Your Life, yeah. the extended edition that's coming out. That's correct, yeah. yeah. No, that's way cool, and I, I was surprised because Beautiful People Will Ruin Your Life, that just came out this year, so then when I saw that there was a new single that wasn't on the album, I'm like, slow down, guys. <laughs> it's like, I'm very ambitious. Now, are these are these new songs that you wrote afterwards, or were they ones that didn't make it on the first pass? Uh, well, one of them's an acoustic version of a song that's on the album. Okay. Uh, then Beasting was written afterwards, and Oceans we meant to record as part of the recording process, but we ran out of time, basically. <laughs> that, that can yeah. happen. Yeah. Well, you guys have been on, on tour. First of all, you toured with the Pixies and Weezer. Yeah. yeah. Weezer yeah, so is maybe cool. my all-time favorite band. Uh, what, so what was that experience like? It was amazing. Like, all three of us, when we were growing up, we listened to lots of both of those bands, and to be on tour with them was pretty, it was pretty special. Uh, and, yeah, to get to watch them every night as well was amazing. Like, Pixies were great. Um, you must have seen Weezer, like, basically every night. I saw them every night, pretty much. I think it was one night I missed the set. It was better to leave them. <laughs> was it still exciting every time? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, like, say it so was one of the first songs I learned to play on guitar. So I'm, I'm, I'm the same as you, I was one of my favorite fans. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing, it's great. Were there any cities that were particularly memorable? On this tour? Um, or just in your life? <laughs> so I think Austin City Limits like, Festival on this yeah. tour was definitely a highlight. Um, mm -hmm. To play at, like, two in the afternoon in the blistering sunshine. Um, and we can technically now say that we opened up for Metallica. Yeah. Um, you know, whether it's you can, you can say sort that. of, you know, a ballpark. The truth yeah. is yeah, swirling around in there somewhere. <laughs> um, it's the same stage. Same stage, yeah. Um, yeah, so that was great. Really good. Cool. And what will you do now that you're uh, finishing up the tour? What happens in the next? Uh, We've got um, 11, 12 days off, and then we fly to Australia and do an Australian tour. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. so yeah. just yeah. more yeah. tour. Yeah. Yeah. The tour is in like <laughs> over. <laughs> It's no, basically you get a week off. Okay. Yeah. The, the US is, is over. And after that, we get Christmas off. Um, we get to Bali on New Year's Day. Sweet. First time we've ever played that. That's yeah, for a show, not to sit on the beach. Well, yeah. hopefully we'll get to try surfing. Mm -hmm. and, you know. Bali looks really cool on Instagram, which is where I spend most of my time. <laughs> That's where I do my traveling. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that looks really awesome. Maybe you any plans to shoot like a music video while you're out there? Um, I'm sure we'll. I was just going to go for you. Uh, yes, how long are you going for? I'm going to go in for two days, so it would be pretty yeah. impressive if we managed to pull a music video <laughs> up in that time. I think it's possible, guys. Yeah. I mean, you can bring me, I'll help out. Um, you know, free of charge. Uh, just cover all my hair. Yeah. Uh, are you excited for Australia? Yeah, yeah. It's always um, it's crazy down there. And we're playing a lot of places that we didn't play on the July tour that we did, um, like Perth, Brisbane. Canberra, so it's gonna yeah, it'll be good um, to bring the album to those places. Yeah, and you guys, do you guys know how to surf, or are you just gonna try it when you get there? <laughs> Tried like three times now. Uh, Basically, yeah. fall up, fall up. Yeah. Stood up a few times, yeah, right. which I was quite happy about. I actually broke a broke a surfboard, um, like it was one of those practice boards, and I think it was a bit dodgy. Um, I went I went to Bali on the way back, uh, just for a holiday last time, on the way back from Australia, and. Um, you blamed I'm not you, went to a, you went to a fit of rage and just snapped it. No, 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 no. I was, I, like, I was standing up on a weight and I was determined to stand up, and I think my legs were too far apart, and I really pushed off. Um, yeah. And, and it just like cracked in the middle, basically. Wow. Yeah. Wow, I, I think that got, got, he's got good leg strength. Yeah. <laughs> they look There's like skinny little chicken legs, but skinny on. little chicken legs. But... Uh, so the, the album which is really excellent. Uh, Beautiful People Will Ruin Your Life. Very specific title name. You probably get asked this a lot, but what can you share about uh, 
that album title? It's just kind of a different way of saying that the, you know, the ones that are closest to you are capable of inflicting the most damage, really. And um, I guess yes, it's always you know, um, songs and words that I've done in the past that always kind of stem from that somewhere. So it kind of yeah. embodies the whole purpose of uh, sitting there and doing this. Well, I agree with you. You can't trust anybody. Um, and the prettier they are, the, 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 least, the, the least trustworthy, I think, you know? Yeah. That's a message to the kids. You trust no one. <laughs> the people closest to you are most likely to break your heart. Trust me, trust me, I've experienced it. Oh god, the pain is killing me inside. Um, but moving on, you have you have the song out right now called Be Sting. But in the song, you talk about a dog on Prozac, I believe. Yeah. And there was a dog on the artwork. The album, the full album, opens up with the song Cheetah Tongue, within which I believe you mentioned a jellyfish. Yeah. Is that is that accurate? Okay, so what's There's going animals on? Animals throughout yeah. everything. Is it's, that is that a constant with you guys? Yeah. I have a squirrel that sits on my drum kit called Steve as well. Don't spoil the surprise for tomorrow night, but there's going to be cats on stage. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. cats out of the bag. I mean, they, now everybody knows. What if yeah. people have cat allergies? Well, we are going to be the cats. Yeah, no. Not oh, not okay. Not actual, I thought you were just going to release a bunch of cats on the stage. I, which I wish we could do that, but the, the amount of paperwork would be awful. Yeah, awesome. and it, you know what? But if you guys need, I, cats follow me to work for like every day. Yeah, I just smell kind of like cat food, and so I can, I can round a few few up. Yeah, yeah, we bring them out on stage, you know? Go for it. We don't even have to perform music. We can just hang out, you know, play with cats. cats. Yeah. Our tour manager would love that. But I, I think I, so. I'm actually slightly allergic to cats, so I'd just be sneezing probably in my corner. Well, you know, it's too bad. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so lots of references to animals. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll keep on going with that. I look forward, I look forward <laughs> to sure learning. It's, it's a weird uh, subconscious thing that, that even on all the other albums, it's just kind of no. I like it. I'm pro-animal. Yeah. You know? Uh, the, the, in the song Bee Sting, you, I, I think there's a lyric, I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, but it's something like, I don't know where I, I fit in anymore, like, I, I don't know where I belong anymore. Is that yeah. approximately? Like that. Yeah. And what struck me is like, and, and I don't know what the hell you're talking about in that song, uh, but <laughs> because, you know, uh, music kind of whoop, right over my head, but. Uh, it sounds really good, and when it when it got to that lyric, I was wondering. For me, when I listen to you guys, I don't know where I would place you genre-wise. And was any of that? Were you conscious of any of that writing that lyric? Uh, no, no, no. The, the lyrics about kind of it was when um, the canyons in LA were on fire. Do you remember that? Oh yeah. Um, so it was kind of about that time when I could see the toilets somewhere. And so, so it's, you know, between the two concerts, I okay, um, then, so I was way off. Yeah. Um, in retrospect, but I mean, how would you define it, define you guys? Because you know, there's there's a lot of different influences in there. I don't know. That's, a, that's, that's totally true. It's almost like I feel like that's a compliment to go. I don't know exactly where to place you because people always laugh and you know, in a taxi or whatever, and they say, "Oh, so what kind of music your band?" And all three of us will be like, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's like uh, rocky. Sort of pop stuff, and, uh, um, and then obviously for us, like there's so many different influences in there that I think it's nicer just to go well. Wow, it just sound like you, you, you be the judge kind of thing. Uh, yeah. But if you don't even know that. Uh, how and how has the the sound evolved? And do you have fans? This is a, actually a question that I think um, gets some funny responses sometimes. Like, do you have fans that are like, we, we like their old stuff? We had that case. Yeah, I mean, that. I mean, few and far between. Honestly, most people just well, they, they all say to your face. It's not. But it's not. It's, it's, it's not something that we are kind of in control of. You know, you can't please everyone. You've got to do what resonates within yourselves, and that's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And if people want us to sound like two thousand and five, then it's just not very exciting to us. Yeah. That's true. That's, that was like thirteen years ago. Yeah. So yeah. 13 years ago. <laughs> so 13 years ago. <laughs> Honestly. Do you think, are you going to be 
coming up? Do you have material that you're still working on maybe for a next album? Or what can people who don't live in Australia, what can they expect from the Wombats in the near future? Well, we're going back to the UK, UK and Europe again to start next year. Yeah. And then when that's done, start thinking about the next album. Well, that's pretty awesome, Bob. It's incredible music. But yeah. thank you guys so much. Thank you to the Wombats. Uh, subscribe, like, check out their album. Uh, beautiful. One more time. People. People. Will. Peace. Will ruin hey, your life. W R L. Extended edition. Oh yeah. Coming soon. Coming. Beasting. <laughs> Off. Ha. <laughs> <laughs>